Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are new finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike create the relationship that they so want and deserve. All right. So yes, I absolutely coach people one on one and in groups. And if you need help with your relationship or, you know, you're working on yourself, but you also need help with yourself, definitely send me an email so we can figure out how we can work together because right now I am actively open for clients. All right. So today we are going to talk about relationship contracts. Yes, you heard me right. Relationship contracts. Do you know anything about relationship contracts? If you don't stay tuned because we will discuss them here right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So relationship contracts, what is it? And, you know, let's talk about it. Let's let's talk about it right now. So what is a relationship contract? A relationship contract is just that. It is a document that is actually written up between usually two people, the two parties in the relationship, and they actually sign the document. But really, it's actually a catalyst for a very honest conversation. And, um... I have to say, before I did my research about relationship contracts, I was my nose my nose was like up in the air, like what, like why would I sign a relationship contract with you? However, after delving a little bit deeper into it, I can't say that I would have been opposed if this had been presented to me because it is a way for you guys to seriously have a very candid, open conversation about the various things that you want within your relationship, and that's really all it is is a conversation and then. And you guys sign your name on the document so when these things are or when the contract is breached right then you have a way to say hey we talked about this this is how we were going to handle it and you didn't handle it that way I have to say that this document is actually not legally binding at all. It's, it's Again, it's just a way for you guys to have an open conversation. And I actually wrote something down here that I wanted to read to you. Um, according to the New York Times, the rise of relationship contracts is because a cool acronyms the kids are using on the internet these days, which are trends. Yes. So relationship agreements also have contemporary currency because they can be used to DTR, which is texting shorthand for define the relationship, which writes um, the author of this. And once a couple has worked out their latest terms of define the relationship or DTR, they can post a status update on Facebook. <laughs> All right. So there you go. That's where we coming from. And that's the primary thing we want in our relationships, the ability to post status updates. Is that? Is that the only reason why you want to be in a relationship so you can post a status update to say, I'm in a relationship? I hope not. And especially if you've been coming to my channel for a while, that you already know that that's a no-go for this channel. You already know that that's a no-go. If you're going to get into a relationship, and especially if you've been following my content, then you know I'm about building happy, healthy, romantic relationships. We are creating the relationships that we want, and we are choosing the correct partner in order to do just that. There are several points that the article brought up and things to think about as far as if you are thinking about, you know what, this might be something that I should do in my own relationship. Why do you want this contract? So think about why you want to do this. Is it because you want a sense of safety and security or is it just because you want to do a playful exercise this particular time to see how things would unfold um, while you're doing this or why you're thinking about writing up this contract. What would you actually put in there? So why do you want to do this contract? Why would you present this to your girlfriend, to your boyfriend? And last and lastly, do you want it to do you want to do this relationship contract because you are looking to make sure that your goals and values align. I mean, that's a good reason to do it, but it's just some things that you need to think about. So now let's talk about some of the common things that are actually in these relationship contracts. All right, so some of the things that I found that are most common when people are writing up these relationship contracts are um, like how to handle the disagreements, uh, who will do the chores on which day, and, you know, so there's no fights about, you know, 
who's doing the chores or why the house is not clean, etc. Right. And then they're talking about date nights in there. They're also talking about how to be radically honest with each other and how to never keep secrets from one another. So those are actually good things that I said, like I said, after delving in deep and reading more about relationship contracts, this actually caught my attention to say that might not be a bad idea to do in your relationship. So now let's talk about some of the benefits to having a relationship contract. Again, I'm not trying to, to sway you one way or the other, but this is just something to think about. My next video will be, I will actually compare and contrast a relationship contract to a marriage contract. All right. Is there something to it? Stay tuned. So some of the benefits that there are to having a relationship contract is that number one, you are very open and honest. That's the whole purpose of having the conversation. That's a whole purpose of making the document so you both can understand and be open and honest with one another. And then another thing that, you know, it brings to the forefront or the benefits to having this is that you both are aware of where each other is at and particular um, topics of conversation. So it brings an awareness to your partner and to where your relationship could eventually move toward and end up. It also helps you to continue to be open and honest and have these straightforward conversations because you've already been able to do it. And I know that you can handle me being completely open and honest with you about any and everything. Doesn't matter how tough the conversation is to have. I know that because we have we we've done this before and now it's much easier for me to go back down the work road, down that road if it's needed. It can also clarify both of you guys' intentions, the intentions that you have for the relationship and where you want the relationship to go. And then also, you know, because some people actually just want long-term relationships. They don't want to get married. Or some people don't even want a relationship. They don't even want to define what's actually going on. But I guess that doesn't apply here because the whole purpose of this as far as what they're saying, it's a trend and most people are doing it to define the relationship. So I guess that one doesn't apply here. It also could ensure that both parties are being heard because you're both opening up and you're both having the dialogue. It's not a monologue. You're having a dialogue about the intentions that you want and that you're setting up for your relationship. As long as you guys understand that you are human and some of these things are actually going to be broken, um, unfortunately, and, and it's not necessarily that we're trying to do it on purpose or that the person that you're in a relationship with is trying to break or breach the contract but some of these things are going to be breached and broken because we are human and it's not to say that they're trying to do it on purpose or anything so but I, I have to say that overall I actually like the idea of a relationship contract in the sense that you're able to have an open honest dialogue about where and how you want your relationship to unfold with each other. So I love this in the sense that you're able to have an open, honest conversation with your partner, but I don't necessarily think that you guys need to sign on the dotted line in order to have that. But if you want to write up the document just to say, okay, let's go over these things, I don't necessarily say that you have to sign it, but, but it is a really good idea in order to just Get the conversation out there. Get the intentions out there so you're not just going with the flow and then being mad and pissed off later on when the relationship is not going the way that you feel that it should go. Open up your mouth and just have these conversations and then you actually don't have to worry about signing a document, right? I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.